It is time to make a blueprint of our car design. We are going to use this drawing to make transferring our digital design into a cutting pattern for our car. The first step is to have downloaded the template from Google Classroom. We did this together. It will be called cmscardrawing.dwg. To make our blueprint, we need the 3D model of our car open. Let's do that now. I'm going to close this drawing that I already made so that we can make it together. When you're an inventor, you might see your car ready to go. If you do, double click it. If not, we might have to click File, Open, and then go look for it. I'm going to click my car template. Here it is. Here's what I designed. Next, we need to have our downloaded file for the drawing open. To do that, we can click File, Open, and then navigate to our Downloads folder. If you're not in the Downloads folder already, click the drop-down arrow and look for Downloads. Now let's click CMS Car Drawing. It should look a little bit like this. If you can't see this picture, it might be a bit smaller, or it might just be the name of the file, but CMS Car Drawing. Click it and click open. Look down at the bottom of your screen and notice that there are two tabs open just like in Chrome. There's CMS Car Drawing and Car Template. We can switch between them by clicking on them. We're going to come up to the top left corner and click the word base. This is going to bring in a picture of our car from the side. And there's a few set settings that we need to change. Click scale and Select 1 to 1. The two dots means 2. That is going to make the car life size when your teacher prints it out. We can reposition our car so that it fits well. Position it so it's near the bottom and centered, but not overlapping anything. We need to click this little gray arrow at the top of the drawing it put in. This is going to give us the top or bottom view. When you have both views and they are inside of the border, they're not overlapping anything, we can adjust their position by clicking and dragging on them. Once we're happy with that, we can hit OK. The drawings are going to turn to a line drawing. That's it for putting our pictures in. Now we just need to save it and turn it into Google Classroom. So to do that, we're going to go to File, and we're going to click Export. This is a button we've not pressed before. And then we're going to export the file in PDF format. I clicked Export to PDF format, and now I get to name it. Name it your last name space car space drawing. So for me, it will be Hill space car space drawing and then hit save. Notice what you saved it in. Mine's being saved in the downloads folder. If yours is being saved somewhere else, please notice that so that when you go to upload it to Google Classroom, it's a lot easier to find. Hit save. Your next step is to go to Google Classroom and turn in this file.